Phoenix, Rebecca Sanchez Ralda, a Guatemalan lawyer and human rights defender, set out recently on a seemingly impossible task, locating the missing father of a four-year-old girl separated in 2017 at the Texas border under the Trump administration's notorious family separation policy. Sanchez Ralda was trying to locate the father, an impoverished farm worker, to determine if he was still in contact with his daughter, who had remained in the U.S. with sponsors after he had been deported to Guatemala. But Sanchez Ralda had very little information to go by. No address. No phone number. Just the father's name and the municipality where he was from. The municipality, however, was made up of dozens of small towns and villages. Sanchez Ralda had no idea in which town the father lived, or even if he still lived there. Traveling there was also not easy. The municipality was located in a remote rural area in southern Guatemala that required driving several hours on treacherous mountain roads. Nevertheless, twice Sanchez Ralda drove to the municipality from Guatemala City, the nation's capital, hoping to find information about the father from local government officials. But both times Sanchez Ralda arrived to find the municipal offices closed. Then Sanchez Ralda got lucky. She found a teacher who worked in one of the little towns. Yes, I know him, the teacher told Sanchez Ralda. Sanchez Ralda telephoned the father, but the call did not go well. Given the way he had been treated by the US government, the father was very suspicious, and Sanchez Ralda said. The father was very distrustful and very surprised that I had his name, Sanchez recalled. It was very hard for him to fathom why somebody would be looking for him. Sanchez's experience tracking down the missing father in Guatemala shows some of the tremendous challenges immigrant advocates face trying to locate hundreds of parents that still have not been found. Those challenges include incomplete and outdated information about the parents provided to immigrant advocates by the U.S. government, parents living in remote rural locations in Mexico and Central America and parents suspicious of strangers trying to locate them years after the family separations took place. There have been other challenges as well. Some parents may be in hiding from criminal gangs they were trying to escape when they fled to the US with their children. Or they may speak only indigenous languages, but not Spanish. The coronavirus pandemic also forced immigrant advocates to suspend searches in March because of travel restrictions in Central America aimed at preventing the spread of COVID-19. The searches resumed in August, but then many parts of Guatemala and Central America were devastated by back-to-back -back hurricanes in November, which have displaced hundreds of thousands of people, making it even harder to locate missing parents, immigrant advocates say.